Russia damages almost all Ukrainian thermal and hydroelectric power plants. Here's a summary of the article. There are almost no large thermal and hydroelectric power plants in Ukraine that would take no damage after Russia's sixth massive missile attack on the Ukrainian energy system last week. About 100 heavy missiles were launched, and their targets were the energy infrastructure facilities, mainly substations belonging to the Ukrenergo, as well as Ukrainian power plants. 15 Ukrenergo energy infrastructure facilities were damaged that day. After this attack, we have practically no undamaged thermal and hydropower plants left in Ukraine. For you to understand the scale of these attacks and what we have to work with, almost all thermal and hydro generation facilities, if we are talking about large power plants, were hit by missiles. Details. Kudritsky emphasized that after each massive missile attack, it takes time to first provide electricity to consumers, then to restore the power grid, and then it takes a few more days for the outage schedules to switch to a planned mode. There is still a bad shortage of electricity in many regions of Ukraine, and in order to maintain balance and prevent the collapse of the power system, blackout schedules are maintained. Ukrenergo passes its regional branches information about the amount of energy that needs to be saved every day so that the power system could run stably. This post received a score of 7,400, with an upvote ratio of 97%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. There are almost no undamaged Ukrenergo nodal substations. That is, there were strikes on almost every important substation, and some substations were hit several times, three, five and even eight times. I work as a grid operator and this is really really bad, potentially even worse than their power plants getting targeted. Even if they get the all clear from the government, a tactical move by Russia would be to wait until the technicians start working on repairs and then send a secondary volley of missiles to try and eliminate the technicians which would seriously cripple Ukraine's ability to repair their energy grid. I was about to say, as an energy control operator for a city of 70,000 people in the United States who is in control not only the electrical grid, monitoring substations, circuits, turning people on, off and sending out the linemen and their apprentices to trouble calls. I also monitor the water system and wells, tanks, and the gas system. Me and my co-workers started talking about the Ukraine situation and the attacks on the utility infrastructure. We are in a secure location but it's just a building. We got to talking about how easy it would be for terrorists to to royally fuck up the power grid. I can imagine one day people like me and my co-workers were sitting at their stations answering trouble calls and getting complaints about people's bills when all of a sudden their building is gone because a Russian rocket or something hit it. It not just one day. They can continue to attack it. Not even show how to protect the workers that try and repair. I am not sure how this is not considered serious war crimes at the same level as intentionally attacking civilian centers. Is this a legal, justifiable war tactic? Seems awfully close to terrorism and targeting civilians with winter approaching. I don't understand international laws, but I don't see how they can be enforced without starting WWIII when it's Russia attacking. And it seems the world prefers letting Russia do its terrorist attacks than starting WWIII. So it's probably not legal, but that doesn't seem to matter. You basically do understand international laws. They are things that most countries with power agree are bad, but there is no going in and arresting someone. You punish them with things like economic sanctions or, as you said, war. Russia is just absorbing the sanctions, and dealing with countries that aren't following them, and no one wants to go to war with Russia. It doesn't matter how many international laws they break, they are already being punished as much as anyone with the power to do so can. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.